Hey, what's up? I'm Michael Alvarez. Welcome to a new video from the Napalm Network Automation Series, where I will continue to show you how to implement network programmability and automation with Python and Napalm. Today, we are going to learn about Napalm methods and functions to collect data from a Huawei router with BRP operating system. We will write multiple scripts in Python to collect data from a network that you can use to create a report or troubleshooting. So, let's get started. We are going to start by introducing the network on which we are going to work. As you can see, the network is similar to the one we saw in the video working with Cisco IOS and IOS XR. It consists of three routers and two Huawei switches, all with the BRP operating system. On the left, we have the local network 10.10.10.0 mask 24, which communicates with the network on the right 10.30.30.0 mask 24. In the center, the routers share their routes using the dynamic routing protocol VGP. As you will remember, on the official website, this operating system is not listed as one of the operating systems supported by Napalm. This particular case is a community development Community developments are known as Napalm plugins because they do not come in the official library and are not maintained by the core developers, but they are hosted on a common page created by them called the Napalm Automation Community. To see this list of plugins, we first go to napalm.readthedocs.io page, contributing section, proposing a new driver, then community driver, and finally here we will find a link that will take us to the page where the collection of developer plugins are. Let's quickly explore this page. If we click on people, we can see that the administrator of this page is Mircea Olinik. Mircea Olinik is one of the core developers of Napalm. Returning to the repositories, here we can see all the plugins that have been added to this collection. The plugin that we are going to use to work with Huawei devices is called Napon CE. Let's click through to see the documentation and details. This plugin, as you can see in its description, is a driver that was developed for Huawei Cloud Switches. Although the approach have been for this type of switches, the commands in the Huawei switches that have the BRP system are compatible through many different models of routers and switches. Going forward through the documentation of this plugin, we will find the command to install it in Linux. The page also offers a quick start basically a small functional code to be able to connect to a Huawei device and print the information of this device. Below we can see the list of methods supported by this plugin. If we see this plugin, it does not have all the methods that we saw for iOS. We are a bit limited, but for what we will do today, it is enough with what we have. Let's proceed with the installation and testing of this plugin. First, we are going to create a new virtual Python environment. The reason why we are going to work on a new virtual environment is because this plugin is not compatible with the latest version of Napalm. Therefore, we will have to install a version lower than the latest version found in the official web page. Let's enter to our new virtual environment. And with the pip command, we are going to install 
the version 2.5.0 of Napalm. Now we're going to proceed to install Napalm CE plugin. To install it, we execute the command pip3 install Napalm CE. Well, since we have the plugin installed, let's test it with the Napalm command line tool. Calling the get interfaces method in one of our switches. Excellent. There we can see that the code returned the information of the interfaces structured in a Python dictionary. Now we are ready to move on to code in Python. What we will do is that we will going to edit the script that we wrote in the previous video for iOS and iOS XR routers. If you haven't watched the previous video, I recommend that you watch it. Here above and in the description, I leave the link of the video and my blog link where you can find these and other scripts that we have written. Okay, now let's make a copy of the script and rename it. Well, here we have the script. As I had said before, the great advantage of using Napalm is that you can use the same functions and the same code for different vendors and different operating system. We will take the code that we have developed for Cisco devices, we will change the operating system parameters, the name of the devices, and we will clean some configurations, but we will essentially leave the main functions. Let us begin. Let's quickly see the modifications we made to this code. The first thing was that we delete one of the get network drivers methods. We changed the parameter from iOS to C in order to bring the class of Huawei switches. We changed the names of the devices and the operating system. One point that I did not mention earlier is that I already have the host file pre-configured on my computer to translate the device name to IP address. And for that reason, if you notice that in the code, I don't use the IP address of the devices. That way you can easily understand what devices I'm working with at the moment. We clean and correct the configuration a little to create the connections instance to the devices. We delete the VGP table because as we saw in the documentation for this plugin, there is no support for VGP. And finally, we delete the printing of the VGP table. That's it, let's run the code. Excellent, our code worked just as expected. As we can see in the result, here we have two tables. The first one with the general information of the network devices, where we can see the host name of each of the devices, the vendor, the model, and the uptime. The only information that is not displaying is the serial numbers. Basically, this is because we are using virtual devices that do not have this information. In the following tables of the interfaces, 
we can see a list of each of the devices with their interfaces, the status of the interfaces, and the descriptions. Interfaces for which the code could not get the speed are shown as minus one, and the one that could not get the MTU information are shown in white spaces. The Napalm CE library is not perfect, it does still have its errors, as we can see by pulling the information from the speed, but for everything else it does its job. Ok, how about we add a new functionality to our script and use a new method from Napalm. Let's write a call to get the MAC address table from the switches and print it out on our screen. Ok, let's quickly look at the modification we made to this code. The first thing we did was create a new table called device mac table, where with the information that we get from the devices, we are going to store information such as the device, the mac address, the interface through which learn the mac address, the VLAN, and if we will learn the mac address dynamically or statically. The next thing we did was to create an if condition so that this functionality is applied only to the switches. We called the method get MAC address table to get the information of the MAC address table from the switches. In our device MAC table list, we make an append to the information we want in our table. And finally, we print our table. We are going to run our code to see this new functionality. Here we have our new table, where we can see the host name, the MAC address that the switch have learned, the interfaces where they were learned, the VLAN, and if they were learned dynamically or statically. Let's do something interesting. I'm going to generate a pin from PC1 to PC2 so that the tables of the switches add the MAC addresses of these two PCs. Let's first see which sonnet we are in. As you can see, we are on the 10 10 10 0 slash 24 network and now we are going to pin to PC2 that is on 10.30.30 network. Ok, here we have our table again. Now we have new entries in the table, we can see how switch 2 Learn the MAC address of PC1 through Gigabit Ethernet 103 and how Switch1 learned the MAC address of PC1 through Gigabit Ethernet 103. One on VLAN 30 and the other one on VLAN 10. Isn't all of this surprising? We have seen again how with so few codes we can get so much information from a network and present it in a table this way, summarized, easy to read and understand. With those few functions, you can collect data of your entire network, see what is connected to all your switches and to your routers. If there is a problem in your network, 
you can quickly see if there are interfaces down that should not be down and see if the switches stop learning any MAC address. The time that you take to connect via CLI to all these devices and get this information and interpret it is reduced by more than 100% when you do it by applying network programmability. Engineers, we have reached the end of our video working with Huawei VRP. If you like it, give it a like. If you have questions, doubts, write them in the comment sections. Thanks for supporting this channel. In the next video, we are going to work in a multi-vendor scenario where we are going to have Cisco devices and Huawei devices in the same network. It will be an interesting video, so subscribe if you have not subscribed, turn on the notifications so you don't miss it out and continue learning network programmability and automation.